Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us as we take a look at this big low, this storm that is coming in from the Tasman Sea. Here's the animated wind map and as you can see there's the low pressure system. Look how far it extends right off to the very top of the screen, subtropical, and that's why it is so cloudy, humid, lots of drizzly spells around the upper North Island and that's about to turn to rain. Same story around the west coast uh, where rain is about to become heavy as well and this low is still deepening. It will deepen as it crosses over the South Island into Friday and that's going to bring even more uh, wind and rain around the country. So this is where we are at 6 p.m. Thursday, 6 p.m. tonight. You can see the heavy band of rain there. This is the subtropical side pushing in to the upper half of the North Island, while the lower half is mostly dry, although cloudy with drizzle patches forming. And then on the west coast, there's that heavy rain pushing in into the southwest corner. Now, let's move forward a wee bit and get into lunchtime Friday. Now, yesterday I had a few people saying to me, there's so much rain and wind, we can't see the country. And that is a very fair point. So what we've done, just highlighted these white triangles. This is Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch, Dunedin. Now the main concern is between Dunedin and Christchurch, this band of very heavy rain that pushes in across Friday and also into Saturday. It begins as early as Thursday night and this rain could be quite intense. So flooding is quite likely around places like Dunedin or just low-lying areas of Otago and Canterbury, especially south and central Canterbury south of about um, the Christchurch area. That's where the worst of the rain will be and on top of that really strong winds too although you're pretty used to strong winds in that part of the country but coming in from the east to southeast uh, they could be pretty strong severe gale is a risk and they could be even worse on that western side meanwhile these rain coming through here this is northwesterlies and around the north island so it is still mild so much of the north island wellington there auckland there you can see showery with nor'westers so friday's probably not too um, too tough for you but it will be wet that's the main thing. And then into the weekend, Saturday, this system lingers a bit longer than the one we had last weekend. So there will be some rain around on Saturday for the North Island. Uh, the winds turn from westerly to southerly as the day goes on, or maybe southwest. There's a southerly change either way moving in, and that will also affect, uh, affect the North Island's southern areas uh, as the day goes on. Because that rain down around Dunedin and Christchurch and Canterbury, well, it slides up the island and towards Cook Strait as the day goes on. So Saturday will be very wet around Canterbury, still wet as well around Otago, but the heaviest rain will be easing. So again, there is a risk of flooding and slips around Otago and Canterbury, especially South Canterbury over the next couple of days. And finally, we've got Sunday, Gosh, what a difference. Just a couple of lingering showers with the southwest flow there. Same story around the southwestern corner. Otherwise, Sunday's a much drier, calmer day around the country. So we'll have another update tomorrow. We'll really get into detail about how the weekend's shaping up and, of course, what is happening next week. That is all from me for today, though. We'll catch you later.